Guys, welcome to Girls Need to Avoid that key on this one. Now, this is me saying thank you to our fans and subscribers out there for doing what you do and how you do them. From all of us at Girls TV, we say we love you and yes, we do appreciate you. Trust us when we say that because we do appreciate you. Now, let's kick off the news beginning with Fireboy, boy of the moment, always whatever he's doing, and upon at this time is becoming good because yeah, that Playboy album is doing good for Fireboy. Now, um, this player came out saying thank you to everyone who worked on that project. They call them great minds and indeed, Great Mind really worked on that project. Now we've seen Fireboy saying, I want to do the OVO Wembley and then about 12,005 capacity and his boss Alam is going to host that one. It's going to be the biggest of his career and he's saying, yes, I'm set for this and I want to do this. And that's going to happen happening on the 13th day of November 2022. We all can't wait for this one to happen because we know he should shut this he should shut this one down. Now he came out and at an interview saying he touched for the first time in life in Miami, touched fake boobs and then according to him, he said he enjoyed that one. Then he spoke about who he would like to love, who he would like to work with, and then he said that person is J. Oz. He said yeah, he admired him because of um, his, his cultural inclined, is impactful, and then he said J. Oz is very, very, very original. Now you call that J. Oz and Bonaboy Boy had one working at the project together, and he's saying yes, I want to work with this same person because of all of what I've mentioned about him. Now we also saw Peru becoming um, or selling over one million in the US, and making him eligible for a platinum in the US. We also saw this one where it became the most streamed Nigerian project on Spotify with about 241 million streams. That's good number for him. But then his scoreboard has been released and then uh, we've seen Playboy album having about 573 million to 100,000 million. Now that's a good one for him, including about four um, digital platforms from Boomplay to Spotify to Audiomat to YouTube. He has amassed about 573 million to 100,000. Now on Boomplay, he has about 83 million 500,000. On Spotify, 233 million 700,000. On Audiomat, 18 million. Then on YouTube, 176 million for him that's altogether about 573 million 200,000 for him is a good one and we all can't wait for this one to go in now people got commenting on he's saying or more now say crazy numbers we just started citizens up and i say when it comes to fireboy he always drop it i think yeah that's true fireboy is always dropping it now moving on to david though david um from the travis scott show at the o2 where he came on and remember he was at the o2 um sometimes early in the month early in the year where he also shut down and down and then um, coming for, for Travis Scott for him just coming back home because he did what he would have done normally shutting down that show and then he came out after the show saying welcome back Travis ready for another album now this left so many questions unanswered because he really made further attention about this one he already spoke about an album then people got talking which album are you talking about then he came out saying um, having a story Instagram story saying my gist, my gist partner Jeff Chich and I was talking about trauma people got talking how, how is that too possible for my love to Jeff Chi from the assurance to, Jeff, to my GIST partner. How is that possible? We got talking. And that person said, I still remember trauma, my love, make this boy rest. People had their opinion about this one. And yeah, we saw them um, at, at, at the shopping mall recently um, having a shopping spree together. And then it was tagged 01 and 02. And people were like, are they back together? Or were they even never separated? Was it just class and everything? All of that, we don't know at the moment, but what we know is they were at the shopping mall having fun together. Just yesterday, um, after WhatsApp announced that one saying, say WhatsApp will allow people to control who can see when they are online, prevent others from taking screenshots of certain messages, and leave group without notifying the entire channel. Now, the point we saw the video coming out, um, that's like some, 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 some years ago. Is it years? Some months ago, okay. Okay, so some months ago, we saw the video coming out and, um, or lamenting saying, um, he, he wanted WhatsApp to have a future where people can be online and not seeing them or something. And then, this is WhatsApp just answered his prayers because they just brought a feature, or a new feature was going to be announced very soon, saying that is going to be possible. And also, and they want to prevent people from taking screenshots of certain messages and leave you without notifying the entire channel. And then to, um, to make it funny, the video, um, refuted this or, and the story saying, hallelujah. So most like, most likely, um, he got his answer, his, he got his request being answered, and then maybe for other channels, he said he's happy, and then he said that we are then just by side. He also announced that, um, big announcement to all my Toronto fans tomorrow. And guess what? That announcement is here because the video is going to be at the manifest two volume 16, um, from August 12th, and then it's going to be with other guys, David Doe and um, D DVSN, Toby Amal, Delan Sinclair, Planet Giza, Dana, Killer Kills. DVBLM, Fame Holiday, Tia Banks, Ray, HMND, Benita, Vivido, and it's going to be hosted by Tresor and Charmaine. For him, he's going to be there 
Friday, August 12th, Budweiser, one of the sponsors, and everything is saying, yes, uh, my Toronto fans, that was, that was the announcement I told you guys yesterday, and I'm going to be there live. It's when the news is Tiwa Savage. Now, so when she was honored with this one, I was Dr. Tiwa Savage, for she was very happy, and all her fans wished her well on this one. Now, on her water and Garito, she has been having a fantastic talk for what she said, or how she danced, to what she about the movement and her song has been very uh, very energetic very very wonderful and then she has announced that on 30th of august she's going to be having a o2 academic briefing and then that's one of the segments of the o2 arena so she's going to be having that one on the 13th of august also in continuation with our water and gary tour now um jay foreign just re she released jay foreign a day before it because yeah the further was mad and she was like for this one she actually asked Zino on the live saying, Zino, I can't wait. You know what? I can't wait. I'm dropping this thing today. Then she dropped it yesterday instead of today. That song came out. People got time to that one. Zino and she on that one on an Amar piano sound. It sounded very, very correct because they both came correct on that one. Now, just same on the O2 which they did for Travis Scott. We saw um Tua Savage coming up for Omarion at the O2 Arena in London. Now it's more of Nigerian guys going to support these big guys at their show at the O2 Arena. This time it's Tua Savage done because she came correct, she came through on that one. And people got comments on saying Tua is big and a pace setter. And I was saying Team Mama, AK, Mama Jam Jam. People got fire emoji, fire, fire everywhere. Means she shut down that show and for her it was so energetic. And for Tewa Savage, she will just shut down whatever show she is on. Hey guys, we come to the end of this one. I'm coming to catch you guys on the very, very, very next one. Stay safe.